Now let's say every time you receive a certain kind of email, you always move it directly into one of your subfolders. Or maybe you write messages really frequently to the same person. Well, all of these different actions, or steps, as you could say, have to be done individually every time. Now, if you start doing these more and more frequently, you can use what Outlook 2010 calls quick steps to save yourself some time and carry out these actions even easier. Let's take a look at exactly what quick steps are and how we can use them to our advantage. Quick steps. Now you can think of these kind of like shortcuts, a way to do things in only one click without having to go through multiple steps. Now Outlook has already suggested some of the most commonly used quick steps for us, and we can see them up here. For example, I could select one of these email messages and move it to another folder. So this moves a selected email to a folder after marking the email as read. So that's one of the quick step options. We can see here, you can also forward an email to one of your managers. In this case, Fred can forward an email to Mr. Paul Palmer. He can also create a team email, or he can create a new email being sent to your team, your department, or maybe whatever project group you're working on at the time. Let's try out one of these quick steps, and I'll start here by selecting team email. Now, because this is the first time we're using this quick step, Outlook wants us to actually set it up and let them know who our team is. Now, I'm going to be sending this to the other accountants, so I'm going to call this team accounting. Accounting. And I'm sending a new message to, and I can click here to actually select a group from my global address list. So here it is, the group accounting. So I'll click two and click OK. So next time I click on this quick step, it's going to send an email directly to the accounting department. So let's try this. I'll hit save. Now we can see up here it's changed its name to accounting. So whenever Tom is actually ready to send an email, instead of going to create new and inserting the addresses in, he can simply click here on the quick step accounting. And just like that, he has a new mail with our recipients already listed here in the to field. So you can see this is actually a really wonderful way to save some time. All right, so we're in Paul Palmer's mailbox, and he has some quick steps as well. Now, Paul really wants to forward all of his emails that are really important into his subfolder, important. We can see it over here on the side. Now, because he has this folder already here labeled, Outlook already noticed this and made his first quick step important, so it already set it up for him automatically. Let's click here, and we can verify all of our options. So we're going to call this important, and when we click this, it's going to move the selected email to the folder important. And of course, if I wanted this to go to a different folder, I can click on this drop-down menu and select any folder that I like going to leave it here. Now here you also have the option mark as read. And if I leave this selected, what that means is as soon as I move this from the current folder to important, it's going to move it over there and mark it as though I've already read my email. Now just because you're moving it to a different folder doesn't necessarily mean you've actually read it. So in my case, I'm going to deactivate this. That way I can judge for myself whether I've read the email or not. Maybe I have an email in my inbox that I know is important. I'm going to move it to the other folder so I can read it later. Whatever you like, select your options here, and when you're done, click Save. So let's take one of these emails from our inbox here. Any one you like, I'll take this one. Welcome to Outlook. I select it here. Go up to my Quick Steps, click Important. And just like that, it's gone from my inbox, and it's located now here in my important folder.